Hello everyone, it's Anna from Anna's Paper Creations and today we are going to create a circle card and we are going to use uh, this new, uh, new uh, die from TNM Holtz it's a holiday ret rets, <laughs> I'm not so sure I'm pronouncing it, it all right but uh, you see what it is so, and we are also going to use some spell binders die here and the largest here is three and three quarter but if you don't have this die I will now show you first how you can uh, make it yourself so I will move this a bit out of the way and um, you just uh, score a piece of paper and then you take some household times or something and um, we are go not going to cut it all the way around if you can see here take it maybe up a bit so take it maybe from this side it's more easy so line it just up like so so it will hold together so I can show you a bit here what I mean these circles here are going to hold together so we are going to chew around here and then cut it out yeah. you can cut it a bit more here so So now you have your circle card and we also used a scallop circle from Spellbinders and uh, if you don't have that either you can place, now it's not enough paper here, but this over and just use it as a mask and drew around like so and then you cut it out and you get this outline here. So, and we will start. So I cut out one circle and it's the largest from this scallop and I'm not sure of the name, I'm uh, not the package anymore from, uh, for this. So I cut out one of these and for this circle here I, I can find something to measure me with. So this is three and a half so it's a quarter smaller than this this you're going to cut out two circles and here is a double one that we are going to use so if you see here I line the paper up almost here hope it shows up and then you have it together so we are going to start to uh, place this paper inside this you can ink up in the edges if you like to. Maybe we can do it. Take some black soot distress ink. Just fast go over it. And then it creates a more depth in it. opened it <laughs> but um, this green here is from the coordination paper from graphic 45 So want it on the back side you just cut out three of these. So now we are going to decorate it a bit. And 
I'm not sure if I mentioned it, it was a Christmas Emporium collection from Graphic 45 for this. So I think we have a teddy bear down here. And I want him to hold a little heart, so I've punched out a heart. You can make a package or anything. this Merry Christmas it says so this is just to give you some ideas you use what you like to do or the images you think are nice so this is finished inside and you can write your message here so now we are going to glue on this circle and then I take the glue on here. So flip on this side up and we flip it over so we see it's precise. This we also can ink up a bit. This it's uh, this one, and it's two bows here. We are just going to use one of them, and we are going to cut out two of these, and that I've already done. And we're also going to ink that up. And then I used go around, and also in the inside, like so, and on the leaves here. And I also take a bit distress uh, vintage photo. So. I want it to be a bit um, old looking, so you just random go over here. So I have already done that with uh, this one, and this is also from the coordination, and this is a basil basic uh, cardstock, so it's a bit darker green. So we are going to layer them on top of each other. So I think we do that. First, and on this uh, top layer, the leaves are going to go up, so you bend them up, but not in this below. Turn it a bit around so show something of the dark green as well. And then I want an image in the middle and I had some leftover paper here and we will try to center that inside here. Maybe should I have done that before I took the pop dots on. Take one of them on off here and this. So just put some glue here. Side about here. Take this back on again. Can take them a bit over here so it will hold it. So now we can glue this on. to find the top here. <laughs> it's here. So we place it 
over here. So here's a bow and we're going to glue that on the top here. Um, this I also distressed a bit around. faces here. And I also made a bow from some twine. So this I take the glue gun and glue it on. And now I can start to decorate a bit on the top here. And uh, I think we take the Santa here. Have to Hook off this a bit again. So I think we're gluing on here. I'm going to take a pop dot on the top here. This creates a great dimensional. in here and just take some glue behind here. And here it says um, Christmas greetings. And this also would be fine if you mat it with a back paper behind so but we take it like this. So take a pop dot behind here as well. some bells so we can have them down here. out some hearts so we see if we're using them. It can be too much also. So just put some on and see. just leave it like that. So this is more. <laughs> so now this uh, card is finished and I hope you get inspired to make one. And uh, yeah, and it's plain on the back and you can also write something here if you like to or mat it. So thank you so very much for watching and I wish you all a happy and a great day. Take care. Bye bye.